Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome viewers to the NPTEL lecture series on the calculus of variations. This is the 19th lecture of the series. Recall that in the last lecture we considered a functional of the type i y equal to integral x 1 to x 2 f of x y x y prime x dx subject to the conditions that uh, the point uh, the functional to y 2. So, we have the situation here that the point A which is having coordinates x 1 y 1 uh, is having a central feed here at this point. So, we have the extremals going like this and we assume that uh, the extremals are given as y equal to y of x c. So, this is the family of extremals forming. So, uh, the one parameter family y equal to y of x c, where c is the parameter forms a central extremal field at the point a x 1 y 1. And the extremal y equal to y x c 0 passing through a x 1 y 1 and b x 2 y 2 is an interior extremal so that means here this extremal which is a b x2 y2 so this is the extremal here which is having the equation y equal to y x c0 so, uh, for the fixed value of c equal to c 0, we have this extremal uh, passing through these two points a and b and this extremal is not on the boundary. So, it is an interior extremal and so here uh, this family of extremals uh, like this forms a central field at the point a. We, so, we assume that uh, that the Jacobi condition is satisfied that is the solution u of the Jacobi equation Jacobi's equation given by f y y minus d by d x of f y y prime times u minus d by d x of f y prime y prime y prime equal to 0. 
vanishes only at the point A x 1 y 1 and only at x 1 y 1 on the interval x 1 to x 2 close. So, that means, at the point B it does not vanish uh, and so we have uh, like the situation here that if we consider uh, uh, C discriminant curve and so we have in addition to this point there is an envelope like this. So, that the extremals are going like this and touching it tangentially like this. And so, this point here so, this point uh, here supposing that this is the extremal A star C. So, for uh, given this is, this is the extremal y equal to y x c and so, this a star c which is uh, on the extremal passing through the point a and uh, uh, having an intersection uh, having a tangential point here on the envelope of this family. The envelope of this family is given as y equal to y x c and uh, del y over del c x c equal to 0. So, here uh, so it is called c discriminant curve and uh, the point certainly a is on the c discriminant curve. Other than this uh, there is the envelope of this family if it exists then uh, we have the situation that the extremals from this center uh, point of the central field uh, will be having uh, points here tangential points here uh, on the extremal. So, the point on any extremal given by y x comma c is called uh, conjugate point which is there on the extremal as well as on the envelope. So, that is called conjugate point of uh, A. So, the Jacobi condition is Jacobi's condition implies that uh, B here this B point should be here. So, B should be on A A star C C 0 here. So, that is what we have for C equal to C 0 we are there on this so, a star c 0 like this. So, that is the Jacobi condition means that the Jacobi equation has the solution u which vanishes only at this point and uh, then this uh, point a star uh, c 0 and therefore, it does not vanish before. So, x 2 is here. So, this, uh, this here on x. So, that is let us say x star c here which is the abscissa of this point a star c 0. So, x 2 should be such that it should be prior to this x star c. So, that is the Jacobi condition which we had considered earlier. Then we consider the Weierstrass uh, function this Weierstrass function uh, w x y y prime p which we defined as f x y y dash minus f x y p minus y prime minus p times f p x y p. Here p is actually p of x is d y by d x at x c 0. So, 
So, that means, uh, on the extremal uh, we denote uh, this y prime equal to p, which is the extremal uh, y x c 0. So, we want to test whether this extremal satisfies certain conditions, which are called sufficient condition, which will ensure uh, the functional i to have either minimum or maximum. So, we will see that under what conditions uh, we have the uh, maximum value of the functional uh, i and under what other conditions uh, uh, the minimum value of this function. So, we have seen that uh, here we considered the following situation here, we have this extremal going like this from A and here we have this B here and uh, So, this is the extremal y x c 0 and we consider any other curve admissible curve. So, we will call this y x c 0 as gamma. So, this we denote as uh, gamma 0 and this curve gamma any admissible curve through A and B. And then we consider this I 0 of that is Y uh, C 0, which is x 1 to x 2. So, we will write that as uh, over gamma 0 f of x y and here y prime is p and i y any other curve y admissible curve like this f x y and y prime d x. Then we consider this delta i y which is the difference of these two gamma f of x y y dash d x minus gamma 0 f of x y p d x. Observing that uh, we have I on if that uh, y equal to y x c is fixed, then this i or rather if we take on this i 0 is fixed, then this i 0 y which is this c 0 is actually a function of of this x 2 y 2 moving on the extremal y equal to y x c 0. And we have seen and we have this d of i 0 at let us say x 2 y 2 we write as general x y moving on the extremal, then we have seen that this is actually f minus p f p evaluated at general point x y d x plus f p d y. And so, this is therefore, this is exact function here that is f minus p f p d x plus f p d y is exact. Hence, the integral this over x 1 to x 2 f or n on any curve gamma f minus p f p d x plus f p d y is path independent therefore, 
we have seen that this over gamma f minus p f p d x plus f p d y is same thing as gamma 0 f minus p f p d x plus f p d y and then on this we, re we write this as gamma 0 f minus p f p and take con uh, this d x is taken out. So, f p and then d y by d x which is p here which is over gamma 0 f minus p f p plus p f p d x. So, it is cancelled. So, you get over gamma 0 f which is x y p d x here. And so, uh, we can uh, therefore, we have seen that this delta i y which is the difference between gamma f x y p uh, oh sorry y prime d x minus gamma 0 f x y p d x and then using this previous result here we get this as gamma f x y y dash d x minus. Now, we can write from here uh, this is the same thing as on gamma. So, on gamma 0 f x y p is same thing as this. So, let us call this as uh, 19.1 and so using that 19.1 this integral second integral can be written as gamma integration over gamma f x y p uh, minus p f x y p d x here f minus p f p d x f minus p f p d x f p d x plus f p x y p d y. And so, uh, this we would write as f x y y dash taking d x out and on gamma uh, here d y by d x is y prime. So, we get this f x y p minus this y prime minus minus will make it plus. So, minus of this f p x y p d x. So, this is what is our y, uh, y stress function x y y prime p d x. So, we see that uh, this uh, delta i y we know that w here this w is 0 on y x c 0 because on this uh, y prime is p. So, you get y prime equal to p and uh, here also y prime is p. So, both the terms will be 0 and delta i y will be greater than equal to 0 if w is greater than equal to 0 and so uh, we will have i i y so, that is implied. So, it means that i this delta i y c 0 is 0 and in the neighborhood of this uh, there are other extremals or any uh, curve y admissible curve y uh, which joins the points a and b. 
we see that delta i y is greater than 0 if w is greater than equal to 0. And so, we have minimum or let us write it if w is greater than 0 uh, for any value of y prime then we get strong minimum because here since y there it does not depend on y prime so we have zero order proximity and if if this delta if delta i y will if uh, w is greater than 0 for uh, y prime close to p then we get weak minimum similarly if w is less than equal to 0 for any value of y prime we have strong maximum since in this case delta i y will be negative for arbitrary values of y prime. If uh, w is less than equal to 0 for y prime close to to p then then we get weak maximum. So, that is what we had considered last time through various examples and uh, so here we have to just check uh, whether this w is uh, positive or negative in the neighborhood of our extremal which we want to test. So, we will consider some examples here. So, let us call this 19.2 i y equal to x 1 to x 2 y prime cube d x here y of x 1 equal to 0 y x 2 equal to y 2. We assume that this y 2 is greater than 0 and this x 1 is less than x 2. So, here since this f which is y prime cube is independent of x and y, the extremals are straight lines. say y equal to alpha x plus beta. Now, y at x 1 equal to 0 implies that y x equal to some constant times x minus x 1 and y at x 2 equal to y 2 which is positive. So, this is this will imply that c must be equal to y 2 over x 2 minus x 1 and so we get 
these extremals like this. So, these are depicted here. So, this is the point A which is x 1 0 and these are the straight lines. So, this extremal here this is x 2 here and this is x 2 y 2 and the slope of this. So, p here which is y prime on this. So, this is b here this is b like this. So, p is y 2 over x 2 minus x 1 which is positive by our assumption that y 2 is positive and x 2 is greater than x 1. So, there are other extremals going like this in the neighborhood of this. And so, we check that w x y y prime p which is f of x y y prime minus f of x y p minus y prime minus p f p x y p. So, this in this case will be y prime cube minus now y prime we have to substitute p here on the extremal. So, p cube minus this y prime minus p into f p means 3 p square. So, this is equal to y prime cube minus p cube minus 3 y prime p square plus 3 p cube. So, that is equal to y prime cube minus 3 y prime p square plus 2 p cube. Here uh, we can see that we can write it as y prime cube minus 4 y prime p square plus p square taking common in this. So, you get y prime plus 2 p and then here we take this as uh, y prime uh, here taking y prime common. So, you get y prime equal to y prime minus y prime square minus 4 p square plus p square into y prime plus 2 p and so factorizing the second term uh, factor y prime plus y prime plus 2 p into y prime minus 2 p minus p square y prime plus 2 p. So, this finally gives us y prime plus 2 p into y prime minus y prime square minus 2 p y prime y prime square minus 2 p y prime plus p square. So, that is y prime plus 2 p into y prime minus p whole square. So, you can see that since this is a non negative and so since p is positive here and if y prime is close to p, p then we have y prime positive. So, it is like this you have 0 here and p is here and supposing we take this small neighbor around this. So, that y prime lies in this. So, then y prime will be positive here. So, we can see that that is if we take. So, if we take y prime lying in the interval 
p by 2 to 3 p by 2. So, then we see that then y prime will be positive. So, if uh, y prime is close to p like this, so that it does not uh, this neighbor root does not take this uh, 0 inside, we see that y prime will be positive. And so, this w uh, will be positive here. Hence, we have weak minimum. Since here uh, the uh, sign of w depends on uh, y prime, so it is actually in the uh, first order proximity because y prime will have to be close to p. That means derivatives will have to be uh, derivatives of these nearby functions should be close enough. So that is the first order proximity which was defined earlier. Now the next example. this is 90.3 will write so here iy is integral x1 to x2 6 y prime square minus y prime to the power 4 plus y y prime dx and the conditions are i of x 1 equal to 0 and y of x 2 equal to y 2. Again, we assume that this is positive and this x 2 is greater than x 1. So, x 1 less than x 2. And so, here f is 6 y prime square minus y prime to the power 4 plus y y prime and the extremals are solutions of this f y minus d by d x of f y prime equal to 0 implies that is Euler's equation. So, it gives us f y gives us y uh, prime here and minus d by d x of f y prime means 12 y prime minus 4 y prime cube plus y equal to 0. So, we get y prime minus 12 y double prime plus 12 y prime square y double prime minus y prime equal to 0. So, we get this cancels here and so minus sorry this should have been f y minus uh, 6 y prime here this is ok y double prime. So, we take minus 12 y out y uh, double prime out. So, we get some sign cut ignite cut curve. This minus 12 y double prime into 1 minus y prime square equal to 0. So, this implies that either y double prime equal to 0 or y prime equal to plus minus 1 and uh, integrating it uh, again we get y equal to alpha x plus beta or y equal to plus minus x plus gamma. So, we get straight lines as extremals and uh, y at x 1 equal to 0 would imply that y of x must be some c constant times x minus x 1 and y at x 2 equal to y 2, this implies that y x equal to uh, y 2 over x 2 minus x 1 to x minus x 1 as we had got earlier. And so, uh, here, so on this extremal p is 
y 2 over x 2 minus x 1 which is positive. Now, we look at the sign of this uh, x y y prime p that is the Weierstrass function which is defined as f of x y y prime minus f x y p minus y prime minus p times f p of x y p. And so, it in this case we get equal to 6 y prime square minus y prime to the power 4 plus y y prime that is f here f x y y prime and then same thing at y prime replaced by p. So, we get minus 6 p square minus p to the power 4 plus y p and then minus y prime minus p and f differentiated partially with respect to p here when y prime is replaced by p. So, we get 12 p minus 4 p cube plus y p. So, this can be simplified finally as minus y prime minus p whole square times y prime square plus 2 p y prime minus 6 minus 3 p square. So, if we denote this expression in the bracket as E which is function of uh, y prime p only and so that is y prime square plus 2 p y prime minus 6 minus 3 p square and so uh, we have to check this. Uh, so, if w, w will be positive if E is negative and W will be negative if E is positive. So, we have to see that if E uh, is negative then W is positive in this case uh, we, we will have either strong uh, minimum or weak minimum in the first case and in the second case we will have strong uh, maximum or weak maximum depending upon whether uh, it is dependent on y prime or not. So, we just check the sign of E. Uh, so, E equal to 0 implies that this y prime square plus 2 p y prime minus 6 minus 3 p square equal to 0. So, this is the roots of this equation are y prime equal to minus p plus minus square root p square plus 6 minus 3 p square that is minus p plus minus root 6 minus 2 p square. So, we check the various cases when 6 minus 2 p square is positive when it is uh, 0 and when it is negative. So, uh, first case when if 6 minus 2 p square is less than 0 then we get complex roots hence E will not vanish. on uh, this line. So, here we have uh, like this p and this is e here. So, on the p axis here we e will not vanish on the. So, there are no points here on p uh, axis where uh, e will be 0 will not vanish for any real p. So, we can remove this thing not needed. So, here uh, and this 
E is positive for large y prime for any real value of uh, not any for any real value of y prime. For large y prime is is positive because you can see that uh, y prime is the dominating term here, and uh, so if y uh, y prime is y prime square is the dominating term here, and if y prime is large, uh, y prime square will uh, decide the sign of e, and so uh, for large values of y prime, e will be positive. Hence if p is that means 6 minus 2 p square negative that is p greater than root 3 here e will be positive for all uh, y prime. And so, uh, this will imply that w is negative for all y prime values of y prime. So, we get strong maximum for for p greater than root 3. So, that is the first case and when uh, So, here we see that if p is when p is 1 and uh, y prime is also 1, we see that e equal to 1 plus 2. So, we substitute p and y prime equal to 1 minus 6 minus 3. So, that is 0. So, and for p greater than 1 and y prime close to p we take this intervals that y prime is in p plus 1 by 2 to 3 p minus 1 by 2, then y prime will be greater than 1 and so e will be greater than e will be greater than 1 plus 2 minus 3 and that is equal to 0 and this will imply that w is less than 0 for p greater than 1 and y prime close to p that means y prime y prime also greater than 1 thus we have weak maximum here similarly Similarly, if p is less than 1 and y prime close to p say y prime lying in the interval 3 p minus 1 by 2 to 1 plus p by 2, then y prime will be less than 1 and then e will be uh, negative and this implies that w is positive for these ranges of p and y prime thus hence we get weak minimum.
So, here we have the following picture uh, that we have here x 1 and then here we have x 2 and these are the extremals going here and let us say this is the point here lying on this extremal b which is x 2 y 2 having p equal to y 2 over x 2 minus x 1 positive and here we see that if in this range if p is uh, greater than 1. So, that is uh, we have the situation that pi by 3 and then we have pi by 4. So, this corresponds to p equal to root 3, this corresponds to p equal to 1 and so here when p is greater than the uh, slope is greater than root 3. So, here, here we get strong maximum, here we get weak maximum and here we get weak minimum in this range. So, that is x and y axis here and this is the point x 1 like this. So, in this case we have seen that the depending upon uh, what is the slope p and in the neighborhood of uh, this if y prime has uh, close uh, value or uh, close to uh, p then we can decide that uh, the functional whether it will have a strong maximum or weak maximum or weak minimum within those ranges of uh, p and y prime. Next, uh, in the next lecture we will be considering various cases of uh, these uh, functionals and we will see we will get a so, uh, other condition which is known as Legendre condition which is simpler to check here finding that w is positive or negative is uh, difficult if we straight away apply the definition of w. We will see that we will use the uh, uh, Taylor series expansion of w and we will be able to get a nice condition e easy to verify which is known as Legendre condition that we will consider in the next lecture. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.